what is up youtube welcome back to the channel it's your boy anirudh and today in this video i am going to install something that i received in mail that i had bought from aliexpress i am not very sure what is inside the box but it says engine part so so i guess it might be one of the three things that i have bought i'll be checking out what is inside so i am also going to install these new champion spark plugs since i have this car i have never changed it and also never got it regapped so i guess it is better off to change because these are not very expensive i paid around 400 rupees for this and i also don't have any previous service history of this car so there are chances that these might be around 15 years old so luckily today it's not raining so i'll hurry up and complete everything and i don't want it to rain when i am working on the engine so let's begin Let's begin by unboxing this. So, is the knife? It is very funny because I had ordered this around three months ago, and I even got the refund for this, and I didn't expect this to come in the mail. So basically, this is a free mod for my car. Free mod never hurts. So ye, uh, so I had ordered this radiator cap. It has a, it has a thermostat in this as you can see, and it has a max rating of 1.1 bar. So basically, this comes in three three variant: 0.9, 1.1, and 1.3. I ordered the 1.1. I guess 1.3 was a bit overkill, and I don't need that much. I'm not very sure if it really can hold up to that pressure. We'll check it out. Let's first pop the hood and put this on, and let's see how it actually looks. This is how it looks. So first of all, let's remove the OEM one. If you want to know what is the pressure rating of your radiator cap, then look on the radiator cap itself. So here is a comparison. Now let's put this in. To put this in, all you have to do is press it inside and then twist it clockwise. As you can tell, the temperature is going up, so the thermostat is working for sure. I am not going to throw this. Because in case if this fails, I will have this one. Because I don't trust this one totally, so I'll give a review soon about this, how it's holding up. It's looking very cute. Now let's install these. So it might rain any time, so I have kept an umbrella. At least my air filter won't get wet. So let's talk about the tools we need. So this is a spark plug socket. This is a long socket, and it has rubber inside which protects the ceramic of the spark plug while we are installing it. And this bar and a set of pliers if in case. It is stuck. I'll put you guys on the tripod stand and start working. One thing to keep in mind: we have to do a single spark plug at a time so that these wires won't get messed up. We put these on the wrong ones, then it won't be good. So we start off by taking the first one. So let's begin. MJK on the track. So if there is some dirt and debris, then you take it out because. Because there is a chance that it might fall into the engine, so I have already cleaned it. And also remember, before you start working, the engine should be cool so that the threads inside the block won't get messed up. So now I'll complete the rest of these. Thank you. 
So now let's start her up. Idle is sitting nice. What is the boy? So I hope you enjoyed this small little installation and unboxing video. Actually, I'm going back to Pune soon because my college are reopening. So that's why I'm trying to crank out as many videos as possible. And I also did something that was a pretty big fail. I was trying to make a custom battery tray for my car because the current one is very rusted and it's completely rotten. So actually I failed because boards holding the battery tray are rusted as well and they are rounded. There is no way that I can take them off. Let's talk about the installation that we did today. The spark plugs and the thermostat radiator cap. Actually when I went for a drive and you can see in the previous clip when I did a pull around 4000 rpm I lost some power when I came back I checked everything once again I checked everything from my coil packs my spark plug wires and the spark plugs itself and everything was fine but when I was about to wrap up everything and as soon as I reached the spark plug where on the first cylinder I got a shock and on closer inspection I found out that it is cracked it might be cracked because of a mice. Anyways, the car is around 15 years old, so things are bound to get brittle and break. Not a very big issue. I'll be able to get OEM replacement for these and a very easy fix. Also not very expensive. Leave a fat like if you found this helpful or interesting. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe.